Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make the perfect cold brew coffee. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for taking the time to pop in and say hi and to watch. Today I want to show you how to make the perfect cold brew coffee. Now this is something new that I've just recently discovered and it is amazing, especially if you love coffee like me. I drink a decent amount of coffee. I'm a mom of three kids so, you know. Anyway, uh, this is a really awesome way to make cold coffee for summertime if you don't want to drink the hot stuff. I learned this from the Pioneer Woman and kind of tweaked it to make it my own. And I'm going to show you how to take that cold brew and make it into a beautiful vanilla creamy flavored cold coffee and also how to make it into a frappuccino. Let's get started. To make cold brew coffee in a large container add two cups of dark coffee grounds. Next, add around 8 cups or 2 liters of fresh water to the container. Lid and store on your counter overnight. Line the strainer with paper towel and place over another large container and then pour the brew into the lined strainer. Just pour nice and slow so you don't make a giant mess like I kind of did here. Then push the remaining grounds with a spoon to get all of that tasty liquid through. You can store your cold brew in your fridge for up to a week. To make sweet cream cold brew, pour two cups of cream into a mason jar and then add one cup of sweetened condensed milk. You can play around with these ratios a little bit to suit your taste, but this is the ratio that I like. Add about two teaspoons of vanilla extract and then shake everything and you can store this in the fridge as well for up to a week. Put ice in a cup, add one part of cold brew coffee, one part of the sweet cream mixture and that's your cold brew. To make a frappuccino add one part cold brew coffee, one part homemade sweet cream, a whole lot of ice and then blend it in a blender until it's nice and smooth. You can pour that into a jar, top it with whipped cream, put a straw in, and that is a frappuccino. So there is a wonderful cold brew coffee and a frappuccino. If you're looking for more tasty summer recipes, don't forget to visit my blog at thediymommy.com. Thanks so much for watching my tutorial today. I hope you found it useful. Let me know if you try some cold brew coffee of your own in the comments below. If you have any other ideas on how to make this cold brew coffee amazing, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye.